hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you guys go ahead and get that like button and subscribe button make sure your subscribe button is green not red also to like comment and share definitely share the page this is miss d over here at closet says i'm dropping in right quick to share a little something with you all so if you guys been seeing me do a lot of the shorts that's what i've been doing okay i've been doing a lot of the shorts to show you guys what i've been doing so don't pass up on those shorts okay i'm just giving you some little items and stuff of what i'm working on and that's what it is and i'm gonna share if y'all noticed um if y'all can remember that i did share with you all the glitter pins and such remember the glitter roses we did that's the red one like such okay remember i did the white one turned out so pretty remember y'all already know what my go-to is right here so and I kept the stem going out this way. I try to switch it up. That's another rose pin. I was looking for the um the big ones. I think I found some too. I found them in Walmart. They were like two ninety nine, I think, or two fifty for one. I think for one. I'm like, ooh, but it's a big old pretty flower. So I might end up buying about two or three. And this one. Okay. Now. I'm going to, since y'all have already seen these, so if you look at that short I did, this is what these are right here, okay? And these are just regular flowers. Y'all already know what you get from the Dollar Tree, okay? Uh, right now, they have some real nice ones up there. So, I've been going in looking at some of them. But if y'all can remember, it's been a video way back. I did a inventory haul on these here. On these here, Delilah's right here and i'm going to show y'all what i did but i kept it for myself i did not sell it um if y'all can remember i did this <laughs> it's got feathers and stuff on it um and this here was a mother's day pin i believe it said the world's greatest mom i added a charm and so and, and such but this was one of the smaller ones and i did it like that y'all see what it looked like on the inside I kind of blinged it out a little bit. And these pins here, y'all, I had did for Mother's Day. I did a lot of them. When I tell you I did a lot of these glitter pins, like I said, when I first, first started. And I blinged the bottom out as well, which was the leaf. Y'all see? And when I tell you guys I sold every last one of them, it was a lady in Texas. Um, She was a nurse. She saw them on my website. I had them on Etsy. And she bought them all, and I was thankful. And they went to Houston, Texas, and I think all they bought all of them but this one. And she bought them for her staff. She was a nurse, so I was very grateful. A little charm I had added. It writes good. So you know what I said? I said, I'm going to keep this one for myself. So I basically kept this one for myself. I did not put this one back on the well to be sold. And I've been had it for just that long, guys. Yes, yes, yes. So, when I was in the Dollar Tree a while back, I had found these bigger ones. And I'm like, man, I wish they had them in different colors. But the only colors they had was these two colors, right? They only had these two colors. And I'm like, dang, I wish they had more colors. But it was okay. It was cool. But let me show y'all what I did with this one. I, this is a project share, okay? My DIY project share. Ain't that's pretty. And y'all already know what my go-to is. You know when you first get them, it don't be a whole lot of glitter and stuff on it. But guess what I did? Y'all see, it is glittered out. Y'all see how glitter it is. And right here, I added some little rhinestones on every other tip. And it's a real big flower. Six point, uh, let's see, 6.5 inches. 6.5 inches. And they are beautiful, baby. Look what I did. And this is just a regular pen. I ordered me some big pens. Well, this is my head. I already took that one apart, y'all. Hold on. These are just the regular big pens. Just end up, just take the top out. Like, like I just showed you. Like it was this right here. Like this. Y'all know how to take it apart. Just pop this off. And these here are hard to come off. I don't know what that's about. So I played it smart. I got me a lighter honey and heated it up right in here and made a hole. 
because I could not get that off of nothing. And guess what? I see I found an easy way to do that. Mm -mm. But anyway, but that's how you take them off. But look, I end up putting the rhinestone here. And I added the extra glitter in there. Y'all see? And look at it. Look how I sit up. Oh, that baby is pretty. Look what I did to the bottom at the back. So when you lay that pin down, baby, look. So when y'all go in there um, in y'all local Dollar Tree and y'all anywhere y'all are at, check out the flowers and stuff and make you some flower glitter pins because that's what they're into now. They're, they're, I guess because it's summer and also, too, a lot of the young ladies, they're doing their little businesses and stuff and don't nobody want to write no boring pin, which is cool. It's fine. Don't get me wrong. But, hey, when you can be cute while you doing your work, honey, everybody going to want that pin, even when you're out in public. I'm not sure if you want to take this big one <laughs> in public, but hey, each his own. But I just thought I'd show y'all that one. And what I did was I blinged it out a little bit at the back right here. But I added a little glitter to give it that look glow. I had some silver, um, it's silver and um, gold nail polish glitter. That's my go-to. I need to find me some more because in the Dollar Tree, they don't have any. And... This is the little tape, the little floor tape. You go in the floor section, flower section. This is where you'll find that, okay? That's where you'll find this. And I'm going to show y'all. We're going to probably finish wrapping this one. But what I did was I got my own little rhinestone necklace. Real jewelry. My little fashion jewelry. And I just basically got some hot. Got my E6000 put it all the way around and just went to town went to wrapping now what i was i'm waiting on my other one to come in i ordered some more like this y'all i hope i ordered the right size i ordered some more rhinestones like this and we're gonna do some online i'm gonna do a tutorial with you guys let me see what it'll look like let me see it'll be cute now so i've been kind of switching it up to go along with my other pins see It'll be cute like that, too. I wonder how to look all the way down like this. That'll be cute, too. So, I'm just waiting on my um rhinestones to come in. They hadn't come in yet, but I'm waiting on them, okay? I'm waiting on them. But that's my little fashion jewelry, and it's kind of, you know, fashion jewelry. You add a little touch to it, and it's cute. And I got my little, y'all know my, like I said again, my go-to but whatever your go-to is, that's what you use. You know, but I'm just telling you, if you've been following me, y'all know my go-to is the nail polish. And that's what I did. I blinged it all the way out. Gave it a little shine. So, baby, this is too cute. Yes, it is. And look, I named this one here Sunset or Orange Blossom or something I named it. I can't remember. I cannot remember. But I named this one here. It's the Sunny Pink. These are the Delilahs. They big. I was looking for some more. They had some, but they didn't. I couldn't find any as big as the 6.5 on Amazon. And each color represent um different men. And that's what I wanted to do. So, and let me show y'all what I did with this. Like I said, I popped the top off of this. I just made a hole. I put some heat in here. Right here. I just made some heat right here and put it in there that's what i did and made a hole in here pop this here out let's see i pop this here out like so took it off but this right here i cut because by the time i had put the glue inside y'all the glue had already kind of went down i had to turn it back over right quick if y'all can see in this one right here let me show y'all. If y'all can see right here, I kept, I had to keep the stem on it just a little bit because I went to do this one different. I left the stem up a little higher. And see, and I didn't on this one. I just end up pushing this down. This one down on the inside closer. If y'all can see, you can tell. And you see right here, I have the stem up. And I just got my nail polish and painted around so they can see. That's like a bigger stem. Okay. 
That's what I did. These are so cute. And they are on my Big Cartel um, Plaza Says Big Cartel website. Y'all shop the links below. Okay. I'm working on it. And hopefully I'm trying to get it up before St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying to get it up. Um, hopefully I have it up in a couple of more days. Because I've been really working on it very hard. Adding some stuff. So what I did was I got my hot glue. Put it in there. Went all the way around. Put it in there. All the way around. All the way around. And that's what I did. And that's what I ended up with. And sooner or later, it dried. And when it dried, when that glue dried, baby, it was over. And I went to decorating up some fears. I think I had already did this. And then when I, when it completely dried, y'all, I just went back and did it again. But this is a 6.5 too. This is also a 6.5. Yep. Isn't that cute? But I want y'all to make sure y'all definitely check it out on my website, though. And what I did was I had to end up cutting the tip of this here because it was, see my glue, like I was sitting y'all, went down a little bit too far. So you can cut it just a tad. Make sure you get some air and it's able to fit in. So that's what I did. But we're going to do this one here. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one here on here right now. Let's do this one right quick. Let me show y'all how I did this. And I'm going to show y'all what I used, okay? I'm going to show you guys what I use. Get you some floral tape, okay? Get it wrapped around. I don't think I'm going to go. I don't want this covered. So I'm just going to do like this. Like so. And do like this. But let me show y'all what it, You don't have to do this. Let me take this out because I don't want to keep scratching up my poster board. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm showing you how I do it to make it work for me, okay? So if you're used to making your stick however you want that is fine so i ended up giving me a little glue i put a little hot glue i did like this let me show you i just put just a tad like right there well if it come out y'all okay that's what i did okay that's exactly what i did i got my little floor tape and I did like this you don't have to do this so however you get yours to stick is fine but I'm showing you what I do to make sure it adheres very good and you're going to be surprised at what I do next to get this look right here you see I went back over it again twice now what I could have did I could keep I could have kept going and going and going and made it real thick I didn't want it too thick a lot of people don't like writing with a lot of thick pens especially if you we're doing it using a regular pen you still want to have that comfort to it okay so this is what I did I made sure I stayed close if y'all can see I stayed close while wrapping it I stay real close and if you feel like let me show you if you feel like you're going too far down just take it back up show you. I don't got that ink all on my hand already so this is what I did I want y'all to see I went all the way down I went all the way down Okay, and guess what I did? Went all the way back up. And I pulled it kind of tight, but not too tight to the point where you pop your little tape, your little floor. You know it's not that sturdy, but it's, it have a little stretchiness to it. Kind of like a little wax or whatever. But y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. All right, and that is it, right? Now, if you want to, you can go back down it again. Let me see. I don't think I went three times down on it three times. I think I just did it twice on that one, but let's see what it'll look like three times. Because like I say, I don't want it real bulky. I don't... I really don't want it bulky. But I'm keeping it sturdy. I'm going back up and doing it again. So 
I basically wrapped it like four times. I'm not going to wrap it again. After, after this time here, I'm not going to wrap it again, okay? Because like I said, I don't, I do not want it to be bulky. But I want it to have that feel to it. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see how it look? Like it's a little thicker. It's like this. And that's comfort the right way. And it's pretty too. It's pute. It's pute pute. Okay. Now, let me show y'all what I did with this. Okay, I'm done. Right? I'm done. I'm going to get this. Put it down. I'm going to cut it don't matter how you cut it, close to it, or whatever. But remember, this tape here is just floor tape. You get out of the floor, the flower section, floors or whatever, what they use. Like this. All right? Y'all see? So I ended up giving me some more glue. I did like this, y'all. That's it. That's all I did. And did like that. But let me show y'all what else I did. To get that little shiny look to it i got me some e6000 and i did this let me see if let me see if it's enough in here because i don't see my big okay it is remember this can be messy so if you don't like using your hands with this i'm telling you right now find another way go to another option i just got some regular e6000 and watch this y'all it's gonna give that give it that little shine look. I went all the way around the pen, all the way around. All the way around. You you do it all the way around. Go all the way down. And y'all know once you put this on and you're not using this much, as though if you was putting it on a badge or whatever, you don't need but a little bit. That's it. See? I'm going to have to go wash my hands real good because I can't stand this stuff. But when I'm doing my projects, uh, y'all know how I am about that now. I, I just do what I do. Okay. Now, what I did was once I went all the way around, like like so, but make sure you don't get it to the point where it's just, it looks like it's trying to come off. But at the top right here where it looks like it want to seal, make sure you seal that real good. And y'all know when it dry, that's it, baby. It is not coming off. Y'all already know. Y'all already know it's not coming off. Okay? Then what I did, I ended up giving me some, my go-to, which is my nail polish. And y'all already know, I went to town. After it dried a little bit, I went to town. And I sat and let it dry it again. Went to town again. Just paint, just paint. Once everything was dry, y'all, everyone, I put this in here, and that's it. And now you have your glitter pen. Y'all see how cute that is? Now, I could have very well went all the way to this tip right here. Like I kind of did this one, but I didn't, you know. But as long as you get it down far enough... Now, if some of them don't like it with this, with this here all the way down because they be wanting to use their cover, but um, the majority of them like it all the way down. And with it being a regular pen, they can still put this on here. It does not have to basically close, but it can just kind of like sit and do like a little snap, you know, like a little cover. And what I did was you can leave it plain like this with glitter. You can leave it plain, or either you can add the glitter. When you add the glitter or glitter glue, uh, whatever you're using to embellish your pen, that's what you do. Like I did this one here. I did put got the silver, and I add a little bit of pink, the thicker one, like I did on this one. And I did the same thing to this pen. You see that little shine right there it has to it? That's that E6000. And this pen is sturdy, baby. It is not going nowhere. It's not coming off. No. And that's it. Like so. They was asking and requesting for more pens. And did I have any more? So, guess what? Y'all know Miss D had to come through. 
she had to come through and i had to come through and share so as soon as this dry i'm gonna get the glitter my my glitter nail polish and i'm gonna just go over it and i'm gonna go over this here again and i might add little rhinestones or whatever probably about one or two with my e6000 or i might wrap it just a tad with the chain just to show that it you know to kind of take away from it just a little bit but I really don't want to bulk it out too much because I really don't want to take away from the pen itself. You see what I'm saying? The, at least the flower, the tip, anyway. But these are very nice. They're very bulky, and they're cute, and they're different. So, y'all look for these, and we will definitely do another one. I'm going to try to go to the Dollar Tree again to see if I can find them, but I haven't been able to find any. If I can't find this style, I, I may just go ahead and buy me a big, um the big rolls the bigger rolls i seen at um uh, walmart and it was another flower i seen i liked it was very pretty and it was big so i might just get two of those i spend like five dollars and get like two of them and do a tutorial on it with you guys okay but yes y'all make sure y'all check out closet says um on bigcartel.com but like i say if you go to it right now the site may say we're still working on site because it's been like that for a minute because i wasn't for sure if i wanted to close it and just stay on my etsy or whatever but i'm just gonna keep it because y'all know sometimes Etsy be tripping but anyway other than that it's been pretty much okay but these are the pins here y'all and they are cute let me show y'all one more time look Y'all see my green? I got it for St. Patrick's Day, y'all. Uh, y'all probably don't want to stand up. Y'all look how pretty that is standing up. Let me see if y'all can see that, though. Uh, I don't think it don't want to stay, y'all. Hold on. Yeah. Now, let's see. If I can get it to stay. I probably can't get it to stay. I ain't going to be able to get it to stay. Any other time I've sit it up here and it just stay. And today it don't want to stay, y'all. See, there it is. Like that. Y'all see how cute that is? That is too cute. Yes, they are. Too cute. Whoop. Whoop. Let me get y'all a good thumbnail on this one. This is the pen. That's that one. I'm not going to put the rhinestones. I don't know. I probably will. I probably will put a little bit of rhinestones on this one. This one is the sunny red, the sunny pink. I named this one the sunny pink. So y'all stay tuned to see. Y'all see I already did the back. So. One more game. Those are very nice. Very nice. Y'all make sure y'all um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all post notification bell is on so you don't miss a video in time. It's the upload over here at Closet Sass. And I did use the real fashion jewelry, okay? Just the fashion jewelry. That's all I did. Just to bring out the pen a little bit more. But I am definitely waiting on my other rhinestones to come in. And hopefully I can find some bigger ones like this. So if anybody know where I can find the bigger Delilahs at, please leave a comment below. It helps me see out a little bit. I will definitely appreciate it and I will definitely be sharing with you guys. Okay, I'm out. Make sure you guys post notification bell on so you don't miss a video anytime it's the upload.